everybody. Hope you're having a great night. We are out and about at night. I am a early bird. I don't really go out at night, but I was very lucky and invited by a friend named Ricky, who I go to the gym with at work, and we were talking. We always talk about food while working out, and he says he always comes to Morio's Sushi Bistro, and I've always wanted to go there, but it's booked six months in advance. That's how popular it is. They don't take walk-ins. So you do have to book a reservation. There are two seatings on Fridays and Saturdays, 6 p.m. and there's a 8 p.m. one. Um, we're going to the 8 p.m. one, he suggests, because you don't feel rushed and they don't kick you out, whereas the 6 p.m. one, you kind of have to leave for the next party. So that's why he recommends the 8 p.m. booking. If you go on the weekdays, um, you have to just do a 6 p.m. They don't do 8 p.m. one. So um, it's bring your own beer. I brought some sake for them. I don't really drink much beer anymore, but we're gonna have some beer just cause it's a special night. Um, I feel dumb too, because we're supposed to go and eat with some fellow YouTubers tomorrow as well. So that'll come out another week and we're probably gonna have some wine or something at that place. But um, let's go check it out. I'm gonna show you where it is. It used to be over there, right next to Jack in the Box on South King Street. And now it's Lokahi Brewing. They moved into this building right here where you can see Akira restaurant. You just walk inside and it's inside over there. There's all this street parking. At night, it's pretty easy to find parking. So, um, and it's free at night after hours. So you don't have to pay the meter. I don't think so anyway. Usually on weekends and nighttime, you don't pay the meter. So we're gonna cross the street and we'll see you inside. Okay, here it is, Mario's, it's right here. So we're gonna wait out here. Okay, we're here. My friends don't wanna be on camera, so, but you can bring your own beer. So I got my Halihi beer. Um, German. And this is our plate. So this is the menu. You can get uh, appetizers, maki sushi, nigiri, but they're famous pretty much for their omakase, which is the chef's um, choice. So he surprises you with a couple of courses of sushi or sashimi, and um, that's what it is. I guess I'll get that, and then Aiden can get some chicken wings and stuff. So that's an appetizer that comes with your omakase. It's um, hamachikama, yeah. And then you get a ponzu dipping sauce. That really looks good. And then um, edamame over there too to snack on. So this is that hamachikama. I'm gonna taste it. Mm. So buttery and it's like crispy on the outside because it has that char. And they have the ponzu sauce. <laughs> this is the chawamushi, so I think it's the first course of the omakase. It's got little flying fish roll eggs, shiitake mushroom, and the egg custard in there. There's a shrimp too. And this is a sashimi platter almost. It's got some fatty toro. Everything's so fresh and delicious. I'm not sure what this is. She explained earlier, but I don't remember. Everything's so fresh and delicious. There's like a snail or something. Is that a snail? Top shell. A top shell snail. Oh. Your shirt is really nice. Oh, thank you. Where is it from? This is my old. Yeah. This was my personal favorite. Super chewy. Yeah. 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 Yeah.
There's salmon, spicy salmon, tamonkey, and some crispy fried shrimp. Yummy. I'm gonna try the crispy fried shrimp. I guess it's fried so crispy you can eat everything, including the head. Mm. It's like fried crispy goodness. So these are tempura like fish. I think this is fish. It's got a little <laughs> uh, fin or something, but it's got that cute little salt next to it. So I'll dip some pink Himalayan salt. Mm. Really crispy. It's not fishy. And really tender fish inside. I forgot what he said, but they explain every dish when they give it to you, so that's pretty neat. And the service is really good. They're always clearing the table, and there's special attention for you since it's a small party. So this is the red snapper with ponzu jelly. Very interesting. What do you think? It's good. That's interesting. The ponzu jelly. Yeah. Wow. Yeah, it's smoky, but a little bit tart, right? Like that sour ponzu. <laughs> Oh, this is Aji? What is, what is Aji though? What kind of fish? It's a snapper. That's a snapper? Oh, you're going to Google. What is Aji? Anybody know? Oh, mackerel. Oh, okay, yeah. It looks like it. Okay, we Googled it. It's, it's mackerel. <laughs> Oh, I like it. Ooh, kind of has that ginger, um, like a cold ginger chicken taste. Because it had a little ginger in there. I like that. So this is eBay, which is shrimp with caviar and tobiko and a shoyu foam. We keep talking story and like all these things keep coming out. That's really good. Yeah, sweet shrimp. So this is, what was that? Sea, black sea perch. And he said it in Japanese, but I can't remember, but it's like kind of, um, akamutsu? Is that? Kind of like round on the top. Wow. Yeah, like a charred taste, a smoky charred taste. That is really good. Yeah. Wow. So wait, what is this? Rice with uni and salmon eggs, salmon roll. It's supposed to be one of the better dishes. Yummy. It's like salty, sea, creamy goodness. Yeah. Wow. Next course is fatty tuna total. Mm. So yummy and just really clean taste and the rice is super good. This is like top-notch sushi, so good and great service. So this is some fried taco, looks very really crispy and brown. It's not tough, it's super tender and really juicy taco. So this is called crab on crab. Smoked crab with tobiko and real snow crab, I think. One of my favorites, I love crab. Oh, wow. <laughs> oh, man. That's good. <laughs> well, and he said that was the last one, right? That's the perfect way to end it. It's so good. <laughs> wow. So this is the last course, a miso soup with a big prawn head. A perfect way to end the meal. I filmed this way in advance. So it is the week that it's been really cold. We're at 60 something degrees, so this is a great end to the meal. It's really warm and keeps you warm. So this is our dessert. This is Japanese green tea pudding. 
I don't know, Japanese green tea something, right? I forgot. And then the pudding and a cantaloupe. Mm. Ooh, that's like a flan. It's like flan custard with a caramel top. Mm-hmm. And this is the green tea dessert. To be honest, that's not my thing. This is kind of weird. I don't know, it has no taste. It tastes like um, squash or something. I don't know. And then this is like a just a melon fruit. All right, that was a great night with all my. They don't want to be filmed, so I didn't film them. But very big crowd. I am so glad to be invited. Thank you, Ricky, for inviting me. That was a good time. Um, very exceptional food. I highly recommend it and I can see why it's booked for six months in advance. So definitely if you have the chance, go to um, Morio's. It's a wonderful experience, personalized service and um, a great time. So we'll see you next time on another food adventure. Thank you for watching and have a great weekend. Peace out.